I just like people to smell my ear when I walk by. So, period. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla. If you're new, I film beauty, lifestyle, and travel related videos. So if that is something you're into, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll always know when I upload a new video. And make sure you like and leave a comment down below as well. So as you can see by the title, um, this is going to be another perfume collection video. It's kind of like an update um on my collection just a little bit but what i really wanted to get into into this video um that i didn't get into in my other videos is telling you what the actual notes of the perfumes are so that way you kind of have a feel for what they you know entail and i'm just going to warn you now most of my perfumes are fruity or sweet and musky so that's the kind of scent that i do like so a lot of these are on that type of side so if you're not feeling that you may not feel the perfumes that i have but if you want to see my actual perfumes just keep watching as always i have my little handy dandy notebook here so i can kind of tell you what the notes are and different little things and which ones are my faves and blah 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 so first up we have an OG scent. So this is Viva La Juicy. The notes in this particular perfume are wild berry, mandarin, honeysuckle, gardenia, jasmine, ember, vanilla, sandalwood, and praline. So it definitely has a lot of good scents in there. Um, it has a mixture of fruit and flowers. So that kind of gives you a feel for what this is. This is a little on the warm side. Um, but as with all my perfumes, I really don't discriminate on what time of year I wear them. And this is one I do wear also during the daytime. It's sweet, but it's not too overpowering enough to where you would think that you have to wear this at night. But then again, I'm a person that does not care. But if you do care, just know that next um one so i'm just gonna stay in the juicy couture collection here so this is another uh juicy couture one and this is a little darker version of the viva la juicy so this is actually viva la juicy gold and this is one of my all-time favorite scents ever since i found this i have fell in love with it it is definitely a little more dark than the viva la juicy so this one has scents of so the wild berry it has sweet jasmine it has sambac sambac s-a-m-b-a-c i'm not sure how to say that if you know how just correct me in the comments and it has honeysuckle sandalwood and also hints of amber and i think that the amber um in this one makes this one a little more dark because it's definitely a little stronger than the viva la juicy again i was still weird during the daytime but this is very sweet this is a very sweet scent so if you're not really into sweet i would stay away from that so the next one this takes it a step further so this is even darker than the actual viva la Good viva la juicy gold so this one is viva la juicy gold noir or it might not be gold it just might be noir this one right here now this one i would definitely consider a nighttime scent i would consider to wear this like on a date night or something or if you're about to go get dinner if you're about to go out or anything like that um so this one has still with the wild berries it has mandarin honeysuckle amber and caramel or caramel depending on how you say it so i think in this scent the caramel is what makes it darker it, it's what makes it a little more robust in my opinion and it makes it more of a nighttime type of scent definitely will smell extremely edible if you wear that i'm just saying also i'll be linking all these down below because most of these come from fragrance um most you can find most of these on fragrance.net i don't think i've ordered anything off of fragrance.net i order most of my stuff from sephora or ulta but a majority of these you can find on there and if not just try sephora or ulta next this is kind of an older scent so this is by vicky teal and this is called tickled pink and as you can see the actual lettering has came off this is a little older scent um, so this one actually have, has notes of tropical passion fruit, strawberries, mango, violet, creamy jasmine, plum tree, 
vanilla musk and light amber so it has a lot going on in there um it definitely starts out with that tropical scent so it is fresh and fruity and then later on as it dries down you definitely get that musky scent but it's not overpowering at all um i will not say that this is one of my favorites this is just like a light scent i would definitely um recommend to wear this like to work or something because it's you know you still smell good but not too much you don't have too much going on so next I have here this is pink ice so this is pink ice and this is actually from rue 21 so i would say do not sleep on rue 21 or any other type of retail fragrances because you will really find some hidden gems in those stores and this was only ten dollars um they do have another one that i like as well i can't think of what it is right now but it's like a darker scent this is definitely very fresh um, this is definitely very light and airy. So this has um, notes of fresh apple, orange, vanilla, and creamy woods. I'm not sure if I wrote that down right or not, but <laughs> it definitely has a fresh scent. It's very light. Um, you can wear this definitely during the daytime. You can wear this to work. You can spritz it before you go work out. If you just want to make sure you have a little extra protection on you, you know, or you can have this as a car scent. A lot of people like to keep stuff in the car. I know it's not really the best thing to do, but I like to keep some type of perfume in the car, whether it's a body spray or a perfume, because sometimes you just need a little extra mm, and that's what I like to do. Moving along, the next one, uh, and a lot of these you have, if you've watched my other perfume collection videos, you've seen almost all these before, with a, an exception of a few new ones, but like I said, this time I just wanted to get into the notes so you can have a little better idea of what you're looking for. So this is the YSL Black Opium. I have actually yet to buy a bigger had to buy a bigger container of this because this is still going strong because i barely wear this it was expensive to be a rollerball plus that's one of my favorite scents like it is so sensual it's so sexy it's so grown so this ysl black opium actually has hints of pink pepper orange blossom pear jasmine and coffee girl so when you hear coffee you probably think of something that smells like starbucks or something but no i feel like i don't really smell the coffee and it also depends on like your body chemistry whether you really get that strong coffee scent or not on me it just gives me a nice dark musky sexy primal type of scent like not primal as in stinky because that sounds funky but <laughs> just something where it's just like i really like to wear that at night or just special so this is definitely a nighttime scent in my opinion you can wear it during the day and like i said i really don't care but i don't really waste that i really just kind of wait until i have actually something to do which is far in between these days but that's another story for another time so next on the list we have versace yellow diamond and i have seen a few youtubers actually talk about this one um i do actually want to get into the it's like a dark purple or brown versace um i'm not sure what it's called though but i'll try to look it up but this one is nice and fresh it's like another um daytime scent and these are scents that you can layer with your actual body sprays that you have so if you have something that you feel would match and pair with these you can definitely do that so that helps your scent stay a little longer which is what i like to do with my lighter perfumes this actually has notes of amafi lemon bergamot and neroli touch of pear and african orange flower so it definitely gives you a nice fresh scent um this is definitely like a daytime scent like i said you can feel free to pair this with other body sprays or even another perfume if you like um, because in my opinion i don't feel like this lasts as long but it's definitely not meant to be like a statement perfume this is just really something just like you know during the day or you're running errands or something like that and so i do like it next here and i know this is such an over talked about oversaturated perfume but i'm going to talk about it again so we have gucci guilty and i feel like oh this is so hand printy i'm so sorry but i feel like this is like a staple in perfume collections i feel like if you are starting a perfume collection this needs to be one of them that's in there this is just like an og type of perfume scent so gucci guilty actually has scent 
notes of geranium, lilac, peach, pink pepper, amber, and patchouli. And learning a little more about patchouli, I think that's what really turned me on to this actual perfume because I love anything with patchouli in it. For I don't know what it is, but it is just a wonderful scent and it just makes me so happy. It makes my heart sing. But with Gucci Guilty, now take this how you will, but Gucci Guilty to me is like a church type of scent. Um, not saying it smells bad because I definitely still like Gucci Guilty and this is halfway gone, but I've had this for like a year now. I don't really dabble into my real perfumes like that, which I'm gonna try, but I don't like wasting perfume. I just use my body spray and move on. But I would say this is like a work type of perfume. It is a little strong if you don't, like if you are in the office, maybe not use so much but i feel like this is a great perfume to wear for a meeting or if you are going to church or if you just have something important going on like to me this is just like a boss type of sin it's like you're not playing any games you're not trying to you know be sweet and sassy but you still want to be sexy and bossy so that's what this scent is to me next on the list i have chance by chanel and this is actually the pink one and I actually don't know, this is actually, it's called something else. I just always say the pink one because it's, it's the pink one, but I'll link it down below so you can <laughs> see what the proper name is for it. Um, but this is another fresh scent. So this one is lemon, cedar, pink pepper, water hyacinth, and iris. So again, I feel like when um, perfumes open up with that lemon or apple, or something crisp and fresh like that. It always gives you a nice clean scent. So this is another one that I like to pair with different things. But at the same time, even though this is a light perfume, this, this is a force by itself. I get lots of compliments when I wear this. So don't feel like you have to layer your perfumes, but I just like people to smell my ear when I walk by. So, period. <laughs> So last but not least, last but not least, I have this Calvin Klein Euphoria Blossom. Now, I will say, this was actually a mistake when I bought it. This was actually a mistake when I bought it because I actually got this from TJ Maxx and me being me just buying stuff i'd pick that up thinking it was like the regular euphoria the one that has like the silver sides it's like dark no so kind of disappointed when i got it but this is another light scent that i like to just throw on when i'm not trying to do too much and this actually opens up with pomegranate it has kumquat orchid pink peony and musk and it has a musky base to it so it definitely opens up fresh, just like those other three scents, like the Chanel and the Versace, the Pink Ice. Um, those definitely are my fresh scents, and those are just days where I'm not like, I may not be wearing too much makeup, I may just be trying to chill, or I may just be around the house and I just wanna spritz myself, but definitely another light scent that I like to wear. So, those are all my actual real perfumes. I do have a lot of sample sizes of perfumes that I need to get through so I can see what I wanna buy as far as a full size version, but I won't bore you guys with that. And out of these, my top favorites are definitely all the Juicy Coutures and the Black Opium. Those are like my go-tos and also the Chance by Chanel. Those are my go-tos, like those are the top. But if I had to pick a top top, I would say this little baby right here. The Viva La Juicy Gold, period, top, top. If you are a sweet type of girl, you will love those, I promise. Like the Viva La Juicy is not like, they have like another scent that's like really perfumey. And if you know what I mean, like it's perfumey, like grandma-y and mm, mm But the Viva La Juicy collection, um, as far as these go, girl sweet edible wonderful whatever that concludes my updated perfume collection um make sure you guys leave a like and a comment and make sure you subscribe to my channel don't just watch the video and not subscribe because i love you i want you to stay and let me know if you guys have tried any of these perfumes or if you do go and smell these perfumes tell me what you think about them and i will see you guys in my next video i love you bye guys